Guck mich nicht an. So, ich nehme an, das ist der... Ja, ja, hier oben. Äh, ich habe eine Glühbirne. I have a light bulb. What? That's great, son. Hold on to it. You might need it. Need it for what? What? For what? Exactly. Oh, God. <lacht> eh, Passwort. I'm here about the password recovery. What? What's that? I forgot my username and password. You what? Uh, I mean, I, I forgot my password. Oh, all right. Well, do you have the letter? Uh, Buchstabe? Letter? What letter? The Y. What? What? No, I'm afraid I don't. Come back when you have it, Sonny. Ich habe jetzt nicht Got den... Scoot. What? All right then. Ähm. Habe ich jetzt nicht die Buchstaben? Ich meine, da hat mir den jetzt gegeben. Quasi. Letter? What letter? The Y. What? What? No. Come back. Okay, dann... Got us. What? All right. Äh... Hier noch was? Nein. <lacht> why, why? <lacht> ja. Na, hörst du auf, auf Kill zu treten? Du bist Pferd. Machst du das an mir? It's that old lady that won't let me in the red glowy place. Man, she's a meanie. <laughs> she's I mean, meanie. okay, she's just like doing her job, but still, meanie. Uh, okay, good. Actually, okay. What have we da? Ui. Einen habe ich noch. Tell me why. Naja. <lacht> Don Imagos, Artist, Creator, Director, Actor, Visionary, Modern Day Viking. Brought important contributions to the art of indie game making to Transylvania from the distant lands of the New World. Looks like a motivated dude. Also, he's holding a controller. That's pretty cool in my book. Good to have you aboard, Don. Oh, it says here in tiny script that if you listen closely, you'll hear Don a lot. Huh. Star Mazer for the win. Okay, I, I like this guy. Shut up, I just do. Ah, Kitty mag doch jemanden. Thank you for your contributions in the field of indie game making, Don Imagos. We salute you. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Ah, okay, das ist wieder so eine. Ah, alles klar, alles klar, got it, got it, got it. So. Äh. It's a local kid playing on his phone. Eine Schleuder. I think it's this kid's slingshot just lying in the grass. Hm, huh, could I use this? Ach komm, frag nicht so blöd. Nah, I can do it. That's a cool slingshot you got there, kid. Yes, isn't it crazy that I know about more than just computer screens and video games? Mind blowing, I know. Oh, come on. Mind if I take a look at it? Yeah, because I'm just giving my deadly slingshot away to a stranger. Sure. Do, also, für, also pff, guess your balls drop. Already. Das ist nicht cool und realistischer als ein Videospiel. Das Ding sieht nicht tödlich aus. That thing does not look deadly. It's only made from the toughest wood you'll find around these parts and a virtually unbreakable rubber band. And I've used industrial grade glue to put the thing together. Not only is it deadly, it's indestructible. Alles klar, ich weiß, was zu tun ist. Hm, I'll bet I can take it apart. Easy. <laughs> really, dude? You're on. What are we wagering? 
just the satisfaction of being right and in the other guy's face, kid. Tuh. Okay then, it's on. Aha, ein Schleuder. So, what are you playing? Call of Duty 6. <laughs> I thought shooters sucked on mobile. <sighs> Call of Duty is not a first-person shooter. It's a survival game. <laughs> survival game? Really? Yeah, really. You role-play the supermodel, and every once in a while, you have to survive on no food before a show for like three or four days. <laughs> That's terrible. Games have changed since your days, old man. Everything is realistic now. Disturbingly so. Ja, realistisch und beschissen. Das heißt, du musst immer aufs Klo gehen, du musst ja hier was machen, oh, dann musst du was essen, oh, dann musst du wieder pingeln, oh, dann musst du schlafen gehen. Das, ja, nee, sorry, aber, ähm. <lacht> nee. Nice place, this town. Nothing ever happens here, and I can't even get data on my phone anymore. But yeah, great place. Well, if you looked up from that screen every once in a while, you'd see that it is. Oh, jeez, you're one of those, aren't you? We get it. You grew up hitting a ball against the wall, not glued to the screen. You were so much better off. Thanks for the insight. Bye. Well, uh, no, that's not really what I meant. I was a nerd just like you. Oh, yeah, you're totally hip to geekdom and down with the youth, pups. I hate this kid. I hate this kid. Wo ist die Knarre? Realistisch heißt das, ich muss vor dem Schlafen gehen fünf Kerzen in einem Latein anzünden. Ja, musst du. Have you seen a girl called Peace around? No, I haven't. Because I'm one of those losers who won't look up from their screens at the real world. Right? <sighs> Ich hasse dieses Kind. Later. Uh -huh. Fuck you, Niku oder Naisu oder just just fuck you. I think I'll do the talking. <sighs> It's an allegedly indestructible slingshot. We'll see about that. Das Ding ist, brauche ich jetzt die Schleuder erstmal oder mache ich die jetzt schon kaputt? Ich speichere einfach mal. Warte mal, kann ich hier... Ja, Spiel speichern. So. <lacht> ha! In your face, kid! Man, that stuff was powerful. So, guck mal! Kleine hey, Katze. What do you know? An ex slingshot. You must have cheated or something. Just admit defeat, Junior. Fine, who cares? I was bored of that thing anyways. So can I keep the parts? Whatever. Ah, ich hasse Ich hasse dieses Kind, ich hasse es. Oh Gott. <lacht> oh Mann. Ey. Ich hatte auch schon mit solchen Kindern zu tun gehabt. Ja, yeah, it's real. Okay, Kunstkritikerin. This lady's really interested in that mural up there. Um, ja. Yeah. She has this air about her. The air of someone who knows stuff. I think I'll do. Ja. Yeah. Können wir Priscilla wieder haben? Ah, ich wünschte. Aber ich habe ihre Cousine kennengelernt und äh, sie war nett. Hi there. I couldn't help but notice you're examining that mural up there. Pardon me? Oh yes, indeed I am, yes. Can you tell me anything about it? Why, of course. You see, there is a certain ambiguity in regard to the vivacious and decidedly histrionic undertones of the disjunctive perturbation present within the artist's essentially transitional brushwork. Wouldn't you say? Uh... 
Of course, you must not let this hint of over-specificity on my part overshadow the obviously resonant spatial relationships between the reductive quality of the lines and the commitment to a rigorously formal approach on the artist's behalf. Actually... What you must understand is that the work echoes its own edges with its obsequious interior dialogue, and even replicates itself, paradoxically denying any allusion to a juxtaposed mythopoetical reality. Ja, was soll man, du sagst? Jawohl, was bedeutet das alles? Ja. Äh, ich habe dieses... Ah. Okay, nice. Yeah, but what does it all mean? Aren't you paying attention, young man? It signifies that the structuralist paradigm under which the creator diligently operated is flush with interpolated post-dialectic musings that cannot be rightfully ignored. That's oversimplifying it a bit, but yeah, okay. Um, yeah. What is the significance of the divided heart? It is clearly a corollary of the coronary metaphors which permeate the opacity and quintessential divergence of pervasive aesthetic hierarchies in the artist's oeuvre. Uh, I agree. What can you tell me about this bus ticket? An incisive voyagerial metaphor, rectangularly encased in an obviously sarcastic homage to utter futility and cavalcading materialism. What do you think of this cauldron? An unrelentingly piercing allusion to corporeal gastronomic enslavement. In the almost puritanical form of a hemisphere, wrought of sacrosanct hunger, both telluric and spiritual. You nailed it on the head. Oh, Quatti, quatsch jetzt zu allem, was wir jetzt hier im Inventar haben, oder? Ja, nee. I'll leave you to your critique. Indeed, indeed. Ja, dann uh, viel Spaß dabei. Oh boy. Ah, Scheinwerfer. A spotlight that's supposed to be lighting that hard thing on the wall, I think. It's not working. No light bulb. Well. And it fits. Symmetry, I am really into you. Sweet. Huh. A heart-shaped mural. It's got like a circle in the middle and uh... Yeah, I have no idea what this is. It's a withered portrait of a man with a fiercely intense stare. There's... there's something about him. Something strange but familiar. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this guy. Well, not no, no, but I feel like I've seen his face before. But where? Man, this is really frustrating. Who the heck does it remind me of? A friend? A neighbor? Someone in my family? Huh. Who cares? Stop dwelling on it! I really feel drawn. Drawn to it. Hmm. Kitty, who does this guy remind me of? It's killing me. It looks so familiar. I know this is gonna sound bad, but you all sort of look the same to me. <gasps> Well, uh, good. Tja. Was kann die da was sagen? Ähm, oder auch nicht. Oh, Indie. Na, Indie. Hm. Schöner Balkon. Oh, man, what a neat looking balcony. I'd love to have one just like that. It looks like it's part of the ancient city walls. Even better. She doesn't need to go up. Hmm. <gasps> yeah. Oh no, not another tourist info point. Thankfully this one seems to be abandoned. Hmm. I won't subject her to it. Okay, jetzt gehe ich auch erstmal wieder äh, ins Dingens und dann zeige ich ihm dieses Hawaii. It's the Y-shaped stick that used to be an indestructible. 
Ta, ja, ta. I've got the letter. All right. You'll need the illuminator. What? What's an illuminator? Thing magic makes light. What? You know what to do with it, right? Uh, no. Not really, no. Illuminator goes first, then you add the letter and start counting. What? Could you be a little more specific? The old Corvinus heart. Light that sucker up. Then add the letter. Then start counting. What? All clear now? I guess. Uh, Bye. What? Bye. Well, okay. Okay, uh, Dingens einzünden. Oops. Man. There we go. It will now project a Y on that heart shape. It's neatly divided into nine parts. I guess that's my password right there. Okay. Ja, Antun, lass uns die Welt verbrennen. <laughs> die Welt in Brand schicken, so. Hm. Nine pieces. That's right, Chiclet. Go on in, then. Wait, wait! I look at you now in this light and... Oh! Oh? Mm -hmm. Corvinus! I... I... Forgive me for doubting. You know, you know, of course you know. You are back, Corvinus! Uh, I'm sorry, is this some Axis granted ritual I'm not completely understanding? She's gone. Well, someone got really excited about you for some reason. There's that. She was also married and more than a century old. There's that, too. Let's just go in and figure out this blackout. Corvinus! Corvinus! Shut up, kitty. <laughs> nine peace. Have I just heard? Yeah, nine. Oi! It's a withered portrait of a man with a fiercely intense stare. There's there's something about him. Something strange but familiar. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I know this guy. Well not no no, but Caputa Buste. A severely battered bust. I think it's supposed to be the guy in the portrait. Hmm. Who would deface it? Why are their swords driven through it? Did the populace really hate this guy? What's the story here? The bust is incomplete, but if this is the guy in the portrait, there is a strange familiarity here. Kitty doesn't care about sculpture, pierced by swords and strangely familiar or not. Fine. Okay, haben wir hier sonst noch irgendetwas? Luke, da haben wir doch den Skywalker wieder. Aha, uh -huh. so that's where the cable goes. Oh, I can sense it coming. Why couldn't it just be an eye level hatch? Why? I just hope it's not locked. It's not, right? Um, uh, probably. <laughs> 